it as printing said, I'm John Gurdy, creative director and producer of Halloween Horror Nights. And if you know our brand, what we try to do is bring branded horror to life. And in the seven years I've been doing Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood, uh, horror has evolved. And we try to evolve with it. You know, our brand is always starting with horror movies. And this year, you know, it's a great pleasure to be working with Toby Hooper to do the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Saw is the Law. Uh, but horror has also made its way into television. And uh, it's fabulous to work with AMC to bring their terrific series. And I'm a huge fan. I mean, when, when The Walking Dead uh, first premiered, we were in the middle of Horror Night, so I didn't get to watch it, so I TV it. And then um, I sat down after the event and wanted to check it out. And I watched the pilot. And then I watched episode two, episode three. And on and on, I watched the entire first season in one setting, and I immediately went, we got to The Walking Dead. So it's fabulous to be doing a brand new maze, The Walking Dead, Dead Inside. But we're also featuring The Walking Dead on our world famous Terror Tram. And if you guys have been to this event before, you know one of the things we do here is we put guests on our world famous studio tour. We take them out to the back lot, to a remote section of the back lot at night, in the dark, we kick them off. <laughs> and they have to walk through some of the most iconic sets in horror history. And if you know your horror history, this is the studio that invented the horror movie, going all the way back to the sound of film era. So uh, for The Walking Dead, on Terror Tram specifically, uh, you know, there's the zombie apocalypse. I'm sure you've heard of it. Started in Atlanta. It's come to the West Coast, so now the walkers are here and they've been made in the movie studio, and that's what you can experience on the terror trap invaded by The Walking Dead. Horror is also big in video games, and it's really exciting to be working with Konami this year, and Davis Films and Open Road Films, to uh, bring Silent Hill to life in a brand new maze called Welcome to Silent Hill. Um, it's, it's incredibly challenging to bring a video game to life, especially when you're talking about characters like Pyramid Head, with his ginormous head. Um, and we're working very closely with both, both Konami and Silent Hill, uh, the film producers, which is Davis Films, to uh, bring the best out of video game series and the movies to life for Halloween Horror Nights. We're also doing in our House of Horrors attraction something called Universal Monsters Remix, which is a re envisioning of our classic Universal Horror characters that started it all here at Universal Studios, um, updating it for the 21st century and uh, bringing a lot of our other iconic horror properties to life in that as well. Today, what we're gonna be trying to show you guys is a little sneak peek at what you're gonna see during the event. And uh, we've got our makeup artists here, and one thing we do um, that's always been a part of all the horror nights and always been our brand is we do extreme horror. So we think of this as an R-rated horror movie. Um, and a lot of times that involves you know, huge amounts of gore. Um, but when we're trying to put, what's different from maybe like a movie or a TV show, you know, if you're making a movie, you only have to get it right for the camera once, and then you're golden. In our world, we think of it as a new show every 10 seconds. And whatever we're doing, whatever kind of effect we're doing, we have to get it right thousands of times a night through the whole 19 nights of this event. And, uh, it's fabulous to work directly with people like Bregan Catero, who is the makeup artist for The Walking Dead, who's also the executive producer of the show. Uh, Greg is also directing all of the episodes of the show. Greg was out here last uh, earlier in the week, um, and we're working directly with Greg to bring some of the most iconic characters from The Walking Dead to life. Uh, also, right across from me, which is hidden by that blue wall, uh, we're working on our second haunted attraction of Alice Cooper. Um, Alice is my childhood hero. I would not be doing this today if it wasn't for the music of Alice Cooper. Uh, Alice invented something called shock rock, which is the marriage of horror and rock and roll. Last year we featured an attraction with Alice called Welcome to My Nightmare. This year we're doing the sequel. It's called Alice Cooper Goes to Hell 3D. And uh, if you guys have been to Horror Nights, you know, we invented a, kind of our own process of doing 3D a couple of years ago. And now we're taking the best of what we learned for that and some new tricks to bring Alice's vision of hell to life for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, so when we let you guys inside today, uh, we have a lot of our makeup artists here, we have one of our concept artists. Kind of the way the process works for us is working with my art director, production designer, Chris Williams. Chris and I, since the beginning of Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood, have always created all of these attractions together. Um, once we know what the character is that we want to do, we work with uh, talented concept artists that work on movies and TV shows 
to illustrate that character, there's a station inside where you'll see an example of that with uh, Lucas, who's one of our, our very best concept artists. And then once we've got that illustrated uh, as a headshot and a close-up of the costume, we give that to our fabulous costume staff to create all the costumes. And for Halloween Horror Nights, nothing is off the shelf. We create every single thing that we do for this event from scratch. Um, and we have a lot of those costumes on display today. And then we also work with really talented makeup artists and our lead makeup artist is here today, Larry Bones. And then working with all of his sculptors, they go through the whole process of sculpting it, whether it's a mask or a facial prosthetic. Um, and then all of these things get baked like you bake a cake <laughs> and, uh, and then painted. So it's a very long, uh, crazy process when you think about putting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of actors into makeup every night. I always think when Henry Ford invented the, you know, the assembly line years and years ago, he, he never could have envisioned how we would use it. Because what we do is basically the assembly line of gore. So uh, we're going to show you a little sneak peek of that inside. And Halloween Horror Nights opens September 21st. It runs for 19 nights during the months of September, closing on Halloween night in October. And we can't wait for you guys to all come out and see how we've taken Halloween Horror Nights to the next level this year. Thank you very much for being with us today.